My name is Elias Logan. I'm an expert and dealer in authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com where you have access at the time of the making of this film to over 6,700 authentic ancient coins and artifacts. Every item I sell comes with a professional certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity and of course my signature. I'm an expert who is known worldwide for identifying over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts. Every coin that I sell comes in a professional numismatic flip. The numismatic flip allows you to look at the front of the coin and the back of the coin without taking out the protective covering, leaving the coin safe even if you're showing it to your friends. The description, there's a short description here and a unique number that matches the certificate. So you could take the coin in its protective case, uh, show it to your friends, put it in a safe place and know that you have the documentation for it. The description is professionally done, many times citing a major reference or collection. So whether you're brand new to the collecting field, or you would like to make a great gift for somebody with a beautiful presentation this is, or if you believe as I do that this is the best investment out there, you may want to check out my site trustedcoins.com. Thank you. Today I'm going to be discussing the Byzantine Emperor Focus. Focus. This is what focus looked like. You could read almost a focus, it's around here. Now for his history. I have several coins of focus in my store. You may want to check that out. Focus. Flavius Focus Augustus was Byzantine Emperor from 602 to 610 AD. He usurped the throne from the Emperor Maurice and was himself overthrown by Heraclius after losing a civil war. By 600 he was subaltern officer in the Byzantine army that served during Maurice's Balkan campaigns and apparently was viewed as a leader by his fellow soldiers. The Avars had defeated the Byzantines in 598, had taken a large number of prisoners and demanded a ransom. Maurice refused to pay and all the prisoners were killed, causing consternation among the army. In 602 AD, having created unrest in the legions by reforms intended to reduce the expenses of their maintenance, Maurice ordered the Balkan army then campaigning against the Avars to winter on the north side of the Danube, the unprotected far side of the river's protective boundary. The army almost immediately revolted and marched on the capital, with focus at its head. Within a month, Maurice's government had collapsed. The emperor abdicated and fled the city, and Focus was acclaimed emperor in Constantinople. He was crowned in the church of St. John the Baptist, and his wife Leontia was invested with the rank of Augusta. Maurice, who represented little genuine threat, was dragged from his monastic sanctuary at Chalcedon and killed along with his five sons. Focus rule was welcomed at first by many because of he low because he lowered taxes which had been high during the reign of Maurice. But later Focus faced a great opposition and was regarded as by many as a populist. During his reign the traditional frontiers of the Byzantine Empire began to collapse. The Persian king Khosrow II had been helped onto his throne years earlier by Maurice during a civil war in Persia. Now he used the death of his e erstwhile patron as an excuse to break his treaty with the empire. He individually, he individually claiming falsely to the Maurice's eldest son and co-emperor Theodosius. Khosrow arranged a coronation and demanded that the Byzantines accept him as emperor. The reign of Focus is also marked by the change of imperial fashion set by Constantine the Great. Constantine and all his successors except Julian the Apostate were beardless. Focus again introduced the wearing of the beard. In 608, the exarch of Africa and his son, both named Heraclius, began the revolt against Focus and issuing coins depicting the two of them in consular regalia. Focus re re responded with executions, among them the ex Empress Constantia and her three daughters. Nicetas, a nephew of Heraclius the Elder, led an 
overland invasion of Egypt. The younger Heraclius began to sail eastward with a fleet force via Sicily and Cyprus. By 610, the younger Heraclius had reached the vicinity of Constantinople, and most of the military loyal to focus had gone down in defeat or defeated. Some prominent Byzantine aristocrats came to meet Heraclius, and he arranged to be crowned and acclaimed as emperor. When he reached the capital, the Exusbitors, an elite imperial uh, guard unit led by Focus' own son-in-law Priscus, deserted to Heraclius, and he entered the city without serious resistance. Heraclius personally killed and beheaded Focus on the spot. Focus' body was mutilated, paraded through the city, and burned. Visit my site trustedcoins.com for authentic coins of uh, Byzantine emperors and Roman emperors and beyond. Thank you.